along the lines of the uh, water fountains being constantly plugged, yes. constantly being worked on, is there a way we can get rid of them? The water fountains? Yes. Uh, yeah. Taken sure. out in total to well, get alleviate <laughs> constant, constant maintenance. Um, I don't sure that I'm ready to abolish the water fountains altogether from our facilities. Uh, the crew is um, used to unplugging clogged water fountain drains. Uh, people sometimes feed their dogs in the water fountains. Kids throw sand and dirt in them. Yeah. It's a normal part of uh, parks maintenance that parks employees all over uh, are familiar with. So it's just part of the normal routine. And, um, we do get complaints from from certain people more than others, but uh, yeah. it's a constant, uh, you know, okay. something that we deal with. Yeah. So, no. I, I I think given the number of children that are here during summer months uh, for summer camp, it's how many do you know use the water fountain? Most oh. bring water bottles. Almost everybody in the park has a water bottle. I don't know. No, no, no. And no. they get the refill. And I, I think it's uh, it's one of those things that um, I'll, I'll leave it up to the staff to maybe make a call on how they deal with water fountains. Water fountains are better than 7,852 plastic water bottles. Thank you. <laughs> or maybe possibly to be recycled. Out another way. Yeah, recycled. Um, any cover. There's probably another, uh, these water fountains are, are pretty old, um, and I'm sure there's some new designs that uh, possibly uh, have, have a better way to prevent some of the clogging and some of them definitely look into, it would be costly, but yeah. in the meantime, the complaints about the clogs seem to be coming from one individual in the community, and we address it as often as we can, and, um, uh, and so, you know, it, it seems like, if there's a, a real problem, we definitely can address it, but I, I, I think it's yet to be determined that there's a real problem. Yeah. Okay. Anything else from the board to look? Sort of a silly question. Some of these water fountains have these rather elaborate platforms and stuff that go up and make rocks. And is, that, is there any, it would seem to me that that makes it easy for dogs to jump up on it and drink from it. Is there any design change that could be made or could there be a, a lower spigot for dogs <laughs> so they're not hopping up on the one that's used by human beings there's a lot of I mean, there are a lot of design <laughs> options uh for sure I and mean, we have to look at you know different water fountains that have the the lower spigot on them i mean like i said these are these are pretty old and you know maybe we're due for an update but um yeah that's something we're just sure in the future never sure. thought of it before until tonight but, yeah. okay uh, oh, I would just like to thank Luke for keeping the water fountains because I have to drink out of them. And I know a lot of elderly people who walk through the park that get dehydrated very easily. And you could kill some of us. Oh, maybe you want to do that. I use the water fountain also. Yeah, but thank you for um, keeping the water fountains. I appreciate that. Stephen? So what is there, four water fountains in our, our entire district? We have three staff plus a manager. And you, I mean, the, even the, the notion that it would be entertained that you get rid of the water fountain. I mean, I, thankfully, the, the majority of the board has has a good sense to keep it. But but I, I, I really would like you to, to consider that conversation. Now, the fact that one person is taking the time to repeatedly ask all, uh, ask about the water fountains, does not mean that that person is being difficult. That person understands, and actually, I, I could tell you who it is. You probably, uh, I don't want to say if you, you're not talking about. He has a military background. He understands maintenance, and this is this is the kind of thing that really should be part of regular maintenance, like emptying the trash. If I were to give a grade to the, the maintenance department, I, I love the guys, they're, they're, they're hard workers, but I do not think that they empty trash enough. I don't think they, there's uh, a lack of ongoing maintenance. There's a lack of rigor and discipline 
in their um, in their work days. And I, I know that the, the county staff has a different way of operations, and maybe we need to bring in someone from the county, or perhaps we should outsource our our maintenance uh, parks and maintenance staff completely to an outside contractor. Because I'll tell you, they you know if they can do it, if kids making fifteen dollars an hour at McDonald's can. Uh, can do their job. Our guys can do it, and the, the only difference is 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 the managerial um, uh, techniques in making sure that the jobs get done. I don't consider these reports much of anything. This is the kind of reports that Gary gave, and we're kind of continuing on a path of of uh, of you know do the minimum. But I. I, I would like us to hold our heads high and, and, and look how we can improve our park. We don't have a lot of park space. We, it, the, the website says we have three parks. They're including the little mini park. It's really Marinwood Park and Creekside Park and then open space. And so why is it that we can't get these things done? I can count four, four water fountains. Probably two of them are problematic. I, I frankly, I don't want to even hear excuses about it. Thank you, Stephen. Um.